Hi everyone, this is Lorraine, and today I wanted to share with you a little purchase I made from Ulta. Um, I, I don't go to Ulta as regularly as um, I should because a lot of times I just buy things online. Uh, but I made a stop in there, we have two, um, where I live. They're not, both of them are not necessarily the most convenient, um, but I went to one of them and I was pleasantly surprised. I only really needed face wash, um, a cleanser. I like to have them in multiple places. Like I have one in the kids' bathroom, I have one in my bathroom, and then I have one in my shower. And so I use different cleansers. I could use all the same one, but um, you know, I just, I like them for different purposes. So I bought this one because I ran out of the one that was at my sink in my bathroom. Um, and I'm gonna put this one in the shower because I like this particular one in the shower. I just have a different one in the shower at the moment, so I'll switch them out. But I like this, it's just by philosophy, it's called Purity Made Simple. It's just a nice cleaning cleanser. Um, and I just like to use it in the shower with either, I have a Clarisonic that I still have that they don't make them anymore apparently. Uh, I had found it and I found like extra little things and I charged it and I really like it. So I might have to order some little brush heads off Amazon and hope for the best. Um, <laughs> I really like it, or I use a washcloth. I think a washcloth is just as nice as well, but this I feel like is just a nice, good cleaning cleanser. So I purchased this. It's a good shower cleanser, you know. And then the other, th the reason I kind of went to Ulta over Sephora, because I wasn't really sure what cleanser I was gonna buy, um, but then I just made the decision while I was there, uh, was I wanted to get this, which is the, is it called OC? I'm not 100% sure, but it's OC Undaria Algae Body Butter. <laughs> that's, that's what I think it is. It's basically a body butter, and it's supposed to be really good for the skin. And I've read really good things about it, really good reviews about it. Um, I typically am not a big fan of when you have to dip your hand into the body lotion but I thought I would make a exception for this. Um, and then when I was there, I saw someone that I know, Beverly, um, she works at Ulta and I really like her. And she told me that this is a really good to use as a combination with body oil, especially their body oil. And it, the, the combination smelled really nice. So I'm, I have body oil already from someone else that I, haven't used so I figured I'd just try that out and see how it goes but after using it yesterday I did feel a little bit like it was a little bit too rich on my skin but I think it might have been just a little bit too much so we'll see um but I also thought that this would be really nice for my son who is going to be 10 um because he always complains about his skin being a little bit itchy and it's just because it's dry so I thought maybe something a little bit heavier if I could get him to actually use it would be great. So we'll see um, if you have any, it just seemed like a nice one. So um, we'll try it, we'll see how it goes. I also have a question for you all. Um, so I was possibly going to go on a trip with my oldest son for his like 10th birthday. And I was thinking that him and I, which is going to trip by ourselves, um, kind of special, you know, and I was thinking about going to New York City because of like just I wanted him to see like the museums and things like that. Um, some of like I don't know, he's gonna do a report on Pablo Picasso, and I thought, okay, well, they have Picasso at the Museum of Modern Art, so we'll go to the Museum of Modern Art. Um, is New York City do you think it would be safe? Um, my husband had a few clients that told him it's not safe. And I've always felt safe in the city. I don't go anywhere that's crazy, um, but I haven't traveled in a while. So, how do you feel? Are you, do you live in New York City? Uh, do you feel safe in the city? Uh, what are your thoughts? And if you have suggestions for things to do in the city with a 10 year old boy, that would be wonderful. But I just, I thought I'd get some thoughts on here because I have nice viewers from 
all over. So I thought somebody might have a little insight on just everything in general. Like, yeah, it's safe. And this is something you should definitely do while you're there. Like go to the Nintendo store, <laughs> just something. This is for his itchy skin too. But um, yeah, let me know. So I saw when I walked in at Ulta, all these little Dior lip glosses and I ended up purchasing this Dior Addict Lip Maximizer in the shade 038 Rose Nude. I'm actually wearing a lip maximizer today, um, one that I didn't buy that long ago. This is in the shade 13, so it's different. Um, and I really like it. So I got this other shade. This is number 38. It's a little bit darker. See, the lighter one is what I'm wearing today, and the darker one is the one that I just purchased. And I'll show you them on the hand. So we've got 13 on top, which is more just kind of like a nice simple gloss. And then number 38, which is Rose Nude, which is a little bit darker and fantastic. It kind of almost looks more like I'm wearing the one that's I just purchased number 38, but it's because I am wearing a lipstick underneath of it. Um, looks very similar, doesn't it? I'm wearing this Dior, Rouge Dior in number 100 nude look. That's what I have underneath. And I'll put that underneath that. Look at that, they look like, I go for the same shades of color. So um, that's the combination that I'm wearing right now, the lipstick with the lighter lip gloss on top. And then I bought the darker lip gloss <laughs> that looks like, hey, you don't need to use two products, you only need one. Um, but I will, I'll be happy with this. I like, I like buying lipstick, it makes me happy. Lipsticks, I just, I haven't had some good ones in a while, so um, it just feels good. <laughs> it feels good to have a nice lipstick. And then, last thing, I had no idea that they had Chanel there. Um, and I really like Chanel products, uh, especially lipsticks. So I went ahead and got the Rouge Coco Bloom in the number 112 Opportunity. Um, I like the color. I like the word. I just felt good about this. I felt very, very good about this. So it just is one of these little tubes like so. Nude color. Perfect. And then let's put it on here and see what we got, what we're working with here. Lovely. Very, very similar shades of color. Um, so I'm interested to see how I like this, which is, um, I think I'll, I think I'll love this actually. Um, it just seems like really good. It seems like a good choice. I feel good about my decision. I feel that would be another good color. If they had the, the decision, the word decision as a lipstick, I would have been all about that too. So um, yeah, that's what I have right now. And this says it's a hydrating, plumping, intense lip shine. This one, that I'm, the gloss that I'm wearing right now in the shade 13, it's very like minty and like burns quite a bit. Um, doesn't bother me, but it just, you know, you feel like your lips like plumping up. I guess that's what we, when you don't get the filler, you need the little maximizer, I guess, right? <laughs> that's what we're going for, the maximum lips without the filler. So that's where we're at right now. That was my little Ulta haul. I had like a nice enjoyable day. There's this infrared sauna that's by Ulta that I really, really enjoy in Sarasota. It's called Perspire. Uh, it's a chain so that you might even have them in your area. I really, really love it. It's like basically like a tanning salon, but a sauna and you buy a membership uh, or you pay for the individual and I buy a membership. Bought a, I bought a membership and it's like I get four sessions a month, which is good because it's like, it's basically like out east for me, <laughs> just like so far. Um, and um, I take like, I try to go there like once a week. So it works out really nicely. Uh, but there's an Ulta by there, which is, I could start going to a little bit if I really wanted to. I don't need to go there too much. Um, but I don't wanna overdo it with the makeup. 
Um, that's the problem with making videos is I'm like, oh, I have, I can share things with you, like whatever, but um, I'm going to be, I'm trying to be good, but I just, I really needed the face wash. So sometimes when you need something and then you just kind of glance around and figure out that you might need something else, you know, so that's it. But that's it for now. So I will see you all very soon with another video. Goodbye.